Good day everyone, I'm Dave, and today we're gonna have a little fun and make some Halloween decorations. So instead of using pumpkins that we cut up and then throw away each year, we're gonna be using these pails to turn them into our jack-o'-lanterns. And by doing that, we can reuse them every year and we can keep adding to our collection, growing it and growing it. To get this project started, you're gonna need a few tools and supplies. First thing you're gonna need is a Dremel, a Dremel kit, including some sanding bits, some burrs for cutting the metal and shaping it. We're gonna need some cutting discs, a few metal buckets for our jack-o'-lanterns, a clamp to hold your bucket in place while you're doing your cutting, candles, spray paint, and then our safety gear, gloves, face shield or goggles, as well as your hearing protection. So when we get ready to do our actual work, we just have this vise that's actually mounted to a piece of wood to keep it nice and solid. We'll just put our bucket in here and just lock it in place so it's not gonna move while we're doing our cutting. So instead of trying to find special pins that write on steel, what we can do is actually just put masking tape directly onto the bucket and that provides a nice piece of paper that any kind of pen or marker will draw onto. Once we have that all on, we can just draw our simple jack-o'-lantern pattern. Once we have our rough design on our pail, in order to do the cutting, we'll need our cutting disc shaft as well as some of the cutting discs out of our kit. And we just unscrew, screw at the end. Some of these have two washers. In this case, we only have one. Now a single washer was on the outside. We go through the disc and into the shaft and we'll just tighten that up finger tight. We'll then take our Dremel, insert that into our Dremel, use our locking button to lock the Dremel so it won't turn. And we'll lock that shaft into the Dremel. And then while this whole thing is locked, we'll take our tool and just turn that bolt to lock that disc nice and tight against the shaft. Now that we have our Dremel all set up, we have to put on our safety gear and of course, make sure we're working in a well-ventilated place and we can start our cutting. Before we get into the mouth, if you start getting to really fine details or you start getting the curves, you can either switch to a smaller cutting disc or you can start switching to the burrs, which allow you to cut any size that you want. So once we have it all cut out, we're just gonna pull off all our masking tape. So now that we're finished with our cutting disc, we can remove it by the same way as before. And then we can either go into a very fine burr or we can start getting into some of our more grinding type shafts instead. We'll do some of our largest areas first, and then we can switch down to smaller burrs for some of the tighter corners. Switching to a small burr, that allows me to get into those tight spots. And now that we got our pumpkin pail all cut up and we ground down all the corners, such that no matter how we put our finger in, we're not gonna get cut, perfectly safe for young kids. Our next thing to do is select which color we're gonna paint. In this case, we're gonna paint both the inside and outside purple. And I'm just gonna keep turning. As you can see, we've done a few different designs and a few different colors. You choose whatever design and whatever color works best for you. All we have to do now is put in our candle, light them up, and we're ready for Halloween. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, again, leave them below, and we'll see you next video. Thank you.